Hi, Sensei Koi here. Uh, wanted to do a quick video today in regards to the board breaking competition coming up Sunday. I've had a lot of parents ask me questions or even students ask, hey, what are we going to be doing? And um, we had a good idea on what we wanted everybody to do. And we're going to break it up to where it's, you know, kids by age and by, you know, how long they've been doing karate, really. So, you know, you'll have a beginner level and then you have more of an advanced level. So when you guys come to the tournament for the board breaking portion, we'll split everybody off where they have to go and you're gonna have to do specific techniques on the boards. Now, some of our younger students will be working with the blue boards. Some of our older students will be working with the red boards, okay? Um, you know, and what me and Sensei Jesse wanted to do here was take the time to kind of show you some of the techniques we'll be doing. So if wanted to practice or give you an idea of what some of these kids will be needing to practice for it, you know, and, and you're like, hey, how am I going to practice? If you guys want to take advantage of some of the boards we still have here at our school, they're still available. We're going to do some practice in class today, uh, being today's Wednesday. Um, if you come to class today, we're going to be practicing some of those techniques, okay? So uh, we're going to set the phone up. Okay, perfect. Come on over here. If you don't know, this is Sensei Jesse. Oh, that's a joke. Um, so, I guess I'll hold the board first. And uh, the most, one of the basic techniques we're going to be doing is the palm strike. Um, you know, we want the first board to be not necessarily easy, but we want it to be like a you know, an icebreaker for everybody because people are going to be nervous getting up there and having to do it in front of people and we want everybody to be successful. So most of us will be doing a board break on the first technique. Um, you know, I'm going to let Sensei Jesse kind of take over from here, but he's going to be going over how he would approach a board before he broke it. Sure. So, um, you know, we got to do two practice to kind of get our focus. So you go one, two, and then on the third one you're going to hit it, but you want to make sure you use the the base of your palm where it's strongest. And kind of have the mentality of instead of hitting the board, I want to go through the board. So I'm going to picture trying to hit Sensei Koi in the chest. So I go one, two, cloud key, three. Close! Just like that. Excellent. And uh, let's say the board doesn't break. We're going to give every student two chances at every board. So if the board doesn't break, uh, they're going to get another uh, one more opportunity. If they don't break the board, then they move on to the next uh, to the next technique at the next board. Remember the board, there's gonna be one at the front of the student, one to the left, one to the right, and then one behind them as well. Um, so that's gonna be a palm strike technique. Another technique, a little bit more extreme, is going to be a reverse punch technique. I'm gonna let Sensei Jesse go through this one as well. Same concept. Uh, this time you're gonna punch with your two big knuckles. You wanna make sure you focus on the middle of the board. So I go one, two, la kia, three. Oh, Perfect, excellent. Again, that one's gonna be more for, our, for some of our older students. That one's definitely a little bit tougher. Um, another technique we're gonna do, we've been practicing this one in class and it hasn't gone very well uh, for the students because it's actually been a little bit hard, so we changed it a little bit. And actually, we're gonna do a downward elbow for one of the techniques as well. Um, and I'm gonna let Sensei Jesse show you guys how to do this. Kind of awkward for somebody to hold it as well. Okay, so you're gonna again use the bottom of your elbow. I'm gonna go one, two, and this one's really important. You wanna drop your body weight as you go down. So I go one, bring your elbow up high, two, three. Us! That good. And that's some of the, our hand strikes that we'll be doing at the tournament. Now let's move to some of the kicking strikes that we're gonna be doing at the tournament. Uh, one basic front kick. Use the ball of your foot. One, two, Good. Moving on, one another technique. That'll be a basic technique even for our younger kids. And also for the younger kids, we'll be doing side kicks as well. Again, using the side of my foot. One, two, three. Side kick technique. I think Sensei Jesse, when we were making, figuring out what we want these kids to do, he popped in a jump front kick for some of our older advanced students. So. Let's go ahead and review that one. Again, you get, this one's gonna be kinda hard to practice one and two, so you just gotta have your focus right on point. 
Oops. Good. Key to that one is knowing how to pick up the one knee and then kick with the other foot. Big key to that one. Um, and the last kind of tougher one that we're going to have is the spin back kick. Ken, uh, the most important part about spinning back kick is being able to get your eyes around and look at the target. You're going to strike with your heel. Okay, uh, one thing to make it easier is you want to take a side step with your front leg. So I'll side step, I'll look, and then I'll kick, just like that. Okay? And that's, a, that's how you can practice it. You can go through it just like that. Nice practice. Okay, so if I were to do full speed, just like that. Excellent. Uh, that's most of the techniques we'll be, we'll be performing at the tournament for board breaking. Again, this is just uh, another way for the kids to have fun. You know, uh, I was glad to call it force breaking to kind of go along with our Star Wars tournament. Uh, we've never done a division like this, and it'll be the first time. And know that every kid that is doing this this portion of the tournament is going to get a uh, an, an extra medal on top of the ones they'll already be receiving in the normal ones because they wanted to take the time to learn how to do you know what I think is a great aspect of karate of learning how to focus and break boards. So appreciate you guys' time, uh, and we'll see you guys this Sunday.